Alright everyone, welcome to the first of one of my four videos, where today I have received my LEGO sets. Now, if you want to see the full build completed and reviewed, go to 459. The quality is also much better there. I was using um my computer to record the building of this, so it wasn't the best. But then the quality, once we review the things, is much better, I can promise you that. Um, So first off, we do actually have Stigimolic, which... Kind of reminds me of the Gen 2 Stigimolic um, from Jurassic World Alive, which also the first person you have to build, in, or you don't have to, but you can. It's in the instructions, it says to build Claire. So there is Claire with a tranquilizer gun as well, and there's a bit of a close-up of the Stigimolic. Um, unlike the other Stigimolic, it, the two lower horns on the back of it, it says to flip them upside down. So it actually kind of has a different look to the other Stigimolic. Then again, you can do the same with the other Stigimolic. But, you know, it's just cool to have a bit of that variation in the things, you know. So you can have, you can just pose the Stigimolic's horns however you want, really. And, I don't know, call them different species or whatever. For some reason, I, I get a bit of Dracorex vibes from this Stigimolic, but yeah. So, the vehicle that we're building right now is really resemblant to that of a Jurassic Park um, Jeep or just a vehicle. It Once it's fully built, you can put a cage on the back of it. Well, not... It's kind of like a little pen thing that's not exactly a cage. I reckon you, a Stigimolic could easily break out of it if it wanted to. But you can hold it in there, so it's really cool. You get the vehicle to hold in and everything. But... Now, we're just working on the lights right now. As you can see, that's the front of the car. It does, it has the red and yellow Jurassic Park colours, as I said. And there are all the four wheels just to put them on. And that is the main part of the vehicle built. So now we move on to building the little pen thing, which is where you do actually get to open up Brooklyn and um, from the packaging. And there, were, there it was. There was a bit of a close-up of Brooklyn. And then you get to build a carrot stick, which Brooklyn is meant to hold, but I thought, you know what, it'd be cool if the vehicle holds it. Plus, it on the box, it shows the vehicle holding that, actually. So, may as well put that there. In the other slot, you could also put um, Claire's gun if you don't want the characters holding anything. So, that's a really cool addition there. And also, here it is, as you can see. There's um the little bars on each side. You can open both of them up, so that's really cool. You can open from each side there was a junior set one that i have that came with a green raptor you can only open one of the things so once again there's variation and it's cool to see but this is kind of a more simpler build to that although the vehicles are very much the same apart from the little pens on the back are just built a bit differently now this part is definitely my favorite part here i love um always the there's bumpy that's really cool and also now we're building ben to go with Bumpy. His eyebrows are black, so it's a bit weird. I, I would... I haven't, I don't... <laughs> I haven't paid attention to the character's eyebrows in Camp Cretaceous, so I'm not exactly too sure what they look like. But I feel it would be blonde to go with his hair. I'm not sure. There's um a Jurassic Park, or... I guess it's meant to resemble Camp Cretaceous, but still cool. But we are now basically building the Camp Cretaceous treehouse. It is really small compared to what it actually is, but, like... I mean, most of the Lego sets are going to be like that. So it's really cool that we even got um, a Camp Cretaceous little treehouse area. It's got a bed, as you can see, a toilet down there. It's even got, like, taps for water, which is just really cool. And it's got the slide as well, which they all slide down. So you can, like, if they eventually create um, a Scorpius Rex Lego character, then could maybe recreate it, although <laughs> Scorpius jumping onto that. I feel it would be a bit too big to fit on there, you know? But, yeah. The treehouse is definitely one of my favourite parts. Some of my favourite um, things from the LEGO Jurassic World lines are the foliage, which is what we, we have right here. Like, all the green and the trees and stuff. I love collecting those. It builds... To, you can, like, build a whole scenery area of it uh, with just all trees. Um, and also, like enclosures to put different dinosaur species in so you can separate them all you can have the two stitching together and then chylosaurus with maybe the baby bumpies that's really cool 
Now, there it is. We have built all of it. And, yeah, we will do a comparison of the two Stigimolix and the two OG Bumpies. So, here's the Stigimolix. You can see, um, if you look at the two eyes, actually, they are different from each other. The green one has a more, like, mean eye. Now, if you look at the horns, this is what I was talking about, the back one. It tells you in the instructions to build them like that, which is cool. Now, this Bumpy is really cool because they've like saturate the colors more compared to the last one like i thought the last bumpy was cool but and it is it definitely still is but i love it when they turn up their saturation and to see that bluer version of bumpy is really cool could we get um a direct to consumer set with big bumpy and scorpius rex maybe that would be cool now here is brooklyn and ben their eyebrows even brooklyn's eyebrows are blonde which is it's a bit weird to see and then there's ben he has a smiley face. I like to have them on the shocked face, kind of like more resembling the kids being scared of like a Scorpius attack or Baryonyx attack or something. But there you go. They also have their smiles, which is Brooklyn's one is very resemblant to Claire's, even though they're not the same. Just gives me that vibe. And then here we have the Jeep, which is really cool. Let me back it up a bit. We've got the pen, as I was talking about. You can open both sides, which is so awesome and then yeah we've also got the carrot stick right there as you can see um it is just a plain you know juniors vehicle so it does come with that custom plate to build all like the bricks on top of so that's it just makes it easy i'm i'm kind of a fan of that i don't want to spend too much time on vehicles we've already got so many vehicles in the lego jurassic world line but yeah still really cool nonetheless and here it is, one of my favorites. I'm gonna have to change it. Um, I'm gonna have to lift up my camera to see the top of this. As you can see, that is um, not chocolate. Let's just say it's not chocolate. <laughs> Bumby's been leaving a bit of a mess. Maybe even Stygie Mollick. But here's a toilet. It's really cool. I mean, don't think we need a toilet, but they tend to add those in the Lego sets. There's a bed. It kind of reminds me of the Minecraft bed. And also got the tap as well. Here are some fences, which are just a cool addition. It's not, you can't build like a proper enclosure, but still, um, as decoration to make an enclosure, it would be cool. And then there's the Jurassic Park sign, obviously. Now it's time to put in my collection. We've got to all stack it up like the OCD person I am, put them all together, <laughs> just have them in a really like perfect, as you can see, I'm just lining them up perfectly. It's going to make if you looked at it, it would make a square shape, basically. Like, let me get the fences. Here's what I'm thinking, right? So, the the vehicle blocks off the um, camp. And then, what I'm thinking, the final thing I'll do is I will get this and put in the middle of those. And there's that, basically. You just have the camp and close off from everything else I'm going to place there. Because they're going to have the baryonyx set up here. The... I have the Dr. Wu and Scientist Lab up here to just for Camp Cretaceous aesthetic, which is cool. But yeah, that'll have to be about it of the video. I do hope you enjoyed very much. It was very fun to build this set. Do stay tuned because I will have the other three sets built on video. And yeah, I hope to see you then. Bye, everyone.